guys welcome back to my style with Brie that's me and if you're new here my channel is focused on everything fashion fashion and more fashion okay y'all I know it has been a while.com honey but your girl listen the last two months was really doing it for me okay and I have not been posting anywhere but Per usual we always get back to the norm and we are back okay so today I have a Zara haul which honestly I never imagined myself truly doing a particular store or brand haul maybe a seasonal haul but like because I never buy in bulk at one time from one store so it never makes sense and that's why usually a lot of influencers don't do these hauls anymore um but honey seasons are changing and i have some things coming up so i was out shopping honey i was online shopping let's say that and after a while i was like you know you sure do have a lot of things from zara's mm. let's do a haul that's what that means so here we are today doing a haul for you guys. Um, now everything in this haul is going to be between a large and a 2XL. So honey, and if you know Zari, you know their uh, sizing is very much so off. Sizing in Zara is still to this day horrible. And I don't know how many times we all have to complain about it, but it's still horrible to this day. To this day. <laughs> to this day. To this day so to this day so horrible however i'm a zara girl i've always been a zara girl and even if their sizing is horrible i'm gonna try to stick with it you know what i'm saying i'm gonna try to stick i can't help it i can't help myself and i don't think none of the girls can because we still you know be in a store like do they got my size can i fit it anyways anyways <laughs> let's get into this haul all right, y'all, so the first item I have is this tan corset. Y'all, when I, first of all, let's start by saying, I got this corset in store, and I got it when I was in Virginia at the Pentagon Mall. Now, if you've been to the Pentagon Mall, and for all the DMV people, y'all know, or maybe it could just be me, I don't know, but I always find something at this Zara in my size and it always fits it's always a good time when i go in there because i'm guaranteed most of the time to come out with something that i wanted or you know what i mean so i just i don't know what it is about this particular store and this particular location but i don't know but it, it likes me okay i got this corset from there this corset is a 2xl when i saw it i said i have to try it on because i never can fit um, or I'm gonna say I never can find a corset in Zara that I actually can fit. So when I found this, honey, I went to that dressing room and had to try it on and I loved it. Okay. So when I got it over my shoulder, I said, it's a go, it's a go for sure, because it don't even begin over the shoulder most of the time. And I said, I don't care if I got to cut a little side of my rib off, but I am definitely, <laughs> I am definitely getting this thing to zip today and it zipped clearly and i love it and it's super neutral um cute for the spring definitely cute for the summer and like i paired it here with some um cream jeans that i got from target and my new loves my steve madden 3d flower gold shoes honey y'all are gonna be tired of me because y'all gonna see these shoes everywhere this summer and spring okay but yes and i just thought this is a cute perfect tone um look now if i had first of all i had to get a gold bag because i would i would have done a gold bag with this look and if i had maybe a 3d gold flower choker that would have been on my neck okay we would have just been a little matchy matchy but i still think it would have been a really cute pop with the gold and then just this whole look is giving like a good nude vibe so definitely cute i don't have on a bra with this um corset so it does keep the boobies together and yes honey it is okay for the bigger chest girls because i am a bigger chest girl i might get some little like um double-sided tape that way i don't have to worry about it kind of flipping down because i did tug a little bit at it um but other than that i love this 
and it's going to be really cute if you wanted to put maybe a white tank under it and do like a layering effect so i'm really excited to play with this so. all right so i had to do these back to back because i actually got this white dress from the same store that i got the corset from in a pentagon mall and honey i actually seen this dress before i um before i was in the store and i was like i wanted this dress and it didn't have my size so when i was in the store and i seen it i was searching through that rack honey and i found my size this is also a 2xl and honey let me tell you this dress is the bomb it just has so many key factors that i really like the rouging the um like a little bit of layering effect here the like one shoulder the like one like, i guess one sleeve it's everything it gives like a little bit of everything to me and it's super classy too you don't have to do a lot with this dress as far as accessories are concerned because the dress is already doing a good amount of things okay and it's just a simple color it's white now i think this is a good dress if you're going to a dinner or to a party definitely an all white party um everywhere anywhere that's kind of upscale except for a wedding because this dress is white and y'all i don't know about y'all but i just feel like if you're going to a wedding or any type of uh wedding thing or wedding event you should not be wearing white it is a no 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 and this is on my mind because i just went to a wedding event and honey somebody had on white now the bride didn't wear white but somebody had on like a white long type of dress it was very fancy a little it was a little fancier than usual and she was bombing it but it was just for me not the right occasion and i just feel like that is a no-no so i would not wear this dress to a wedding unless i'm going to get the dress dyed in another color honey but it's a definite no and i think rouging rouging on thicker girls is a great detail to have on items that you own because to me it just kind of hides the pudge it has a little food pie a little bit like it gives some it sits something there to kind of distract you from oh let me suck it in or let me do this let me do this i think it kind of just makes everything a little bit more flattering with the rouge so that's my favorite part of it other than the uh one sleeve aspect of it okay all right so the next piece is this um knit crochet black skirt now y'all i bought this skirt to go over my swimsuit for a vacation that i'm going on soon and that's how i intend to wear it however another influencer which i'm gonna um pop her name somewhere down on the screen or below here another influencer styled it with the, like a black blazer um it was like but hers was closed and more cinched and i was like hmm i didn't think about that like i didn't think about that probably because i was really buying it for the sole purpose of it to go over a swimsuit so when i saw her i said oh i can style this another way because i didn't want to show you guys with my swimsuit yet okay i'll take pictures on the trip but when i seen a style like that on her i said well let's just try to kind of replicate that look so um i just did it with my bodysuit underneath because if i would have closed my um blazer it would have been very short and you would have been seeing a lot of blue cheeks in the back so to keep it a little lengthy just a little bit i mean it's still a little cheek there but just to give it a little bit of length and coverage on the back i decided to leave it open and for that reason that's why i put my um a body a black bodysuit underneath so but it came out really cute did it with some little cute black dominant shoes and it was kind of up like the you know it kind of elevated the um skirt in my opinion so i think this is really cute so definitely if you're thinking about getting a crochet skirt that is wide like where the knit is more wide and see-through definitely think about maybe pairing it with um oversized shirts or corset or even a blazer because this could have been cute as well if i had like an oversized black leather jacket and maybe um a cute graphic tee and maybe some boots that might be a cute little Coachella moment. Or this, honestly, this is a good skirt for Coachella. Even though I think Coachella's passed by this point. Yeah, by the time you guys see this, Coachella would have been done. But the girls at Coachella is really rocking the knit knit wear. Definitely sexy though. 
Okay, it's definitely giving a little body. It's giving a little body and I appreciate that because I don't really buy a lot of things I feel like that are super sexy. So sometimes I do be wanting to add those pieces in my wardrobe. Maybe it's because I'm just like, sexy to me is something else other than me just being revealing in certain aspects. But I be like, I be want a little reveal. Like, let me get a little reveal. Let me show it off a little bit. Okay, I don't know. I don't know y'all, I'll be all over the place. I can't get it together. <laughs> Let's move on to the next piece. All right y'all, so the next piece is gonna be this cute little, I guess you can call it like mauve, like a mauve color. Mauve, am I saying that right? I don't know. The little like uh, really mauve pink looking color um, jumpsuit, which was really odd to me because it kind of zips in the front and buttons like pants. And when I seen this, I was like, oh, oh my God, I gotta get this. This is a 2XL. It is a little snug. I'm not going to lie to y'all. However, I already spilled something on it and I can't return it. Nor do I want to. I did think about it though. However, we're still in our fitness journey. Pray for me y'all that a couple inches will come off and I will be good to go. Okay. Anyways, I did have some stuff underneath this when I wore it. Like I had on my bra and on my, um, my undershirt, which... Probably is not making that big of a difference. But I had on my undershirt. I had on like Spanx. And I honestly, I wish I didn't have on the Spanx because to me, the Spanx were just, I'm not a Spanx girl and I'm just like, whatever. But to me, that made it fit a little tighter than, I, than it has fit when I tried it on previous um, times. So I feel like that made it a little bit more tighter. I don't know. But regardless, I still love this jumpsuit. Um, I think it's cute with the belt. Um and definitely layering like I like it with the white um undershirt under it and cute honestly with some flat sandals as well as if you want to uh, elevate it like I did with the um chunky black hill and basically I just did white 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 and then I did the white bag just to accessorize a little bit more but I thought this was really cute really dainty um and just a little eye and I'm a jumpsuit girl like I've been I'm you know what I'm looking for still a boiler suit. I'm looking for a dang on boiler suit, y'all. And every time I find one, it's never in my size. And I just want my boiler suit to fit loose and not tight all the time. All right, so the last piece we have is this white top that has like the knotting detail on it. Um, I'm gonna try to put in a clip of what this top brought me to, but. Um, in Waiting to Exhale, one of the um, actresses in that, very popular actress, um, she had on a dress that had the similar knotting in the middle, like a like a cream off-white looking dress. And y'all, literally before I seen this shirt, I was thinking about that dress and I was like, I wonder if it's something like it. Then I seen something like it on ASOS as a cover picture, but they didn't actually have it online for you to buy. Like, I don't know why they did that. That made me mad. However... I couldn't find nothing that looked like that with quality. So I was like, I guess I'm just never going to get this dress. However, I came across this shirt, which I was like, eh, it still gives the same feel. Kind of, sort of, sort of, kind of. However, I am a white t-shirt lover. I am a white shirt lover, especially when it comes to um, the spring and summer. Give me a white shirt every day and I will love you, okay? Like, <laughs> you can do so much with a white shirt or a white button-up. And if you don't have one, you need to start your collection now. At one point, it was one summer where I looked in my drawer and all I had was like, white, 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 white. I'm like, where is your color, Brianna? We gotta get some color. Because I'll buy a thousand different white shirts that have different detailing on it. And you're like, girl. I'm like, no, this white shirt got buttons on the side. This white shirt got a little shoulder down like you know don't don't mess with me it's a white shirt but it's gonna be a little detail every time so for this white shirt i did not hesitate um it was pretty okay in price it was what 25 dollars i believe don't quote me um <laughs> but i am gonna have all these items linked um down below in the description but yes i thought this was so cute and fun for summer spring um now as it gets hotter, I probably will pair this with like shorts or something like that. Um, here, I just did it with my Kalana and Target, um, my Kalana Barfield and Target collaboration pinstripe pants. 
and yeah i just felt like a, some bag gear on the on the bottom would kind of go good with this um and then i just did it with the same white shoe now i need to buy like a red red something because i don't got red nothing y'all but if i did have it i probably would have did maybe red accessories maybe even a red lip um because i think that little pop of color would have been cute with this outfit but yes i am in love with this shirt like i said before if you don't have a nice little collection of white tops please get some because if you don't know what to wear the white top is going to give you something to wear all right y'all so that's all i have for today's zara haul i think i gave y'all what six six different pieces i think i did six different pieces um yeah zara haul i don't know if this will ever happen again i might do more seasonal hauls where the season change and i'm shopping and upgrading my wardrobe or something like that um but yeah zara's hard to come by for me i mean i get a lot of stuff from zara however zara definitely plays with my mind when it comes to these sizes but yes y'all i'll see you soon now if you have not already subscribe to my channel okay put that little subscribe button give this video a thumbs up if you like this zara haul and turn those post notification bells on that way you're notified every time i do post a video okay until next time thank you guys for tuning in to too much style with brie bye